As covered in the book, The Power of Your Metabolism by Frank Suarez, one of the primary factors that can contribute to weight gain and other health problems is stress. Stress can come in various forms, such as a threat, whether real or imaginary, worry about the present or future, a fall or blow, a sudden change in temperature, an obstacle or problem, a health condition or sickness, etc. Stress is more than just an emotional response, as the body, through the adrenal glands, will also react by producing a hormone called cortisol, also known as the stress hormone. The purpose of this hormone is to help the body handle any possible danger or emergency detected in the environment. Basically, the production of cortisol prepares the body to fight or flight. It was designed by nature to mentally and physically prepare the body to overcome whatever dangerous situation is occurring. When cortisol is produced in response to a stressful situation, the body will respond by producing other internal changes, such as increasing blood pressure and glucose levels. The glucose levels are increased so that the body's cells have enough energy available to fight or flee. For example, if the source of stress was a hungry tiger chasing after you, all of the excess glucose would be consumed by your efforts to run away from the tiger. The problem, however, is when stress is short-lived, in other words, if you're given bad news about something you cared about, you may not necessarily end up sprinting away from the bad news like you would with a tiger. As a result, the glucose produced by your body in response to the cortisol reaction to stress is not used by the cells. Instead, with the help of insulin, it is stored as a source of energy, or fat, for future use. The effects of stress on the body are long-lasting. In fact, when you experience a stressful situation, the levels of cortisol in your body will dramatically increase and remain in your body for more than 8 hours before going back to normal levels. One way to help reduce the effects of stress is to do some form of moderate exercise, such as walking or swimming, for 30 to 45 minutes. This will allow the body to eliminate large amounts of cortisol. In short, your metabolism is greatly affected by stress. Reducing the amount of stress in your life, including the stress produced internally, such as with candida, will greatly improve your metabolism. To learn more about this topic, read the chapter, Stress Makes You Gain Weight, in the book, The Power of Your Metabolism, by Frank Suarez.